5-4-5 AKs are some of the strongest in the game, so without wasting your time, we're going to get into four builds that I would recommend. We're going to cover two 74N builds, because 74N actually have the lowest recoil out of any of the AK series. And then I'm just going to quickly show you guys the 74M, and also one of my favorite 105 builds. Arguably one of my favorite builds, this is my current build for the AK-74N. There's a few things that I would change here in the lowest recoil build, and I'll just quickly cover why. The first one is the RK2, the Zenit RK2. Now, obviously, this is a negative 5% recoil, but obviously it minuses 2 ergo. I'm not a massive fan of that, so instead, usually when I run this gun, I would suggest either a Zenit RK1 or a Magpul RVG. And for the choice of magazine, there's a reason that I've chosen this magazine here. PMAG 30 AK74 is actually the least ergonomics reducing mag coming in at negative 1.5 ergo, so there's a conscious choice here. When it comes to the 60 round mags, a lot of people run these in their AK, but I think that's quite stupid. Obviously, if you're going for a massive five-man spray down, you'll probably wish you brought 60 rounds, but there's a few reasons why. The first one is the load unload speed modifier. I think plus 50% is a bit of a joke. And when it comes to check speed modifier, plus 20 is also pretty terrible with negative 10 ergo where you really start to feel it. When it's fully weighed, it's coming in at almost a kilo as well. So the next build we're going to be looking at is the AK-74N Suppressed. And the AK-74N Suppressed is exactly the same as the Loud build. It has the Zukov stock and obviously the Zenit grip. Obviously, it's still the same gas tube and the same handguard and the same grip. But the only thing that changes here is the PBS Suppressor. Now, the reason we choose the PBS 4 Suppressor is because it actually has the highest amount of uh, recoil reduction here at negative 6. But there's one major problem when it comes to this Suppressor in the game. And it's the fact that it's negative 14 ergo, which is a bit of a joke. So when I build this build, sometimes I would consider maybe actually running the Silence, uh, Silence Echo Hybrid 46 because this comes in at negative 3% recoil with half the amount of ergonomics debuff. I would say this one over the other suppressor is because the other suppressor here, the TGPA, comes in at negative 8, but it only reduces your recoil by 1%. So next gun we're going to be looking at is the AK-74M. Now this is the lowest recoil loud build and the only real difference between these two builds is obviously the stock. Now the AK-74M comes with the Zenit Kalasica stock here, the PT-3 Kalasica stock and we're going to be mounting that to an AK-74 AK-100 PT lock. Now not only does this give you the ability to fold the stock but the only real difference between the 74N and the 74M is ergonomics versus recoil. The 74M has more recoil and higher ergo, whereas the 74N here shown has lower recoil and slightly worse ergo. I would always recommend going for the 74N in my humble opinion because it gives you the ability to put on this stock here, which is the Zukov S for AK, which is the God stock. It is negative 49% recoil with 11 ergo. So it doesn't really matter if you skimp in other parts. Now this last build we're going to be looking at is the Shorty AK-105. And this is one of my favorite builds in game. Not only does this gun not clip when you go around corners, especially in CQB maps, it has incredible ergo coming in at 72.5. This is built around the Aggressor handguard, which also makes it super viable because the Aggressor handguard not only does it have negative 4 recoil and 5 ergo, but it also comes built in with all the rails and all the goodies that you'd need to either attach a scope and or grip or laser. And this is a beautiful handguard and it also looks really sexy. This last build is something a bit of a personal favorite of mine. This is called the Bay K74N. It is exactly the same as the lowest recoil AK74N build, except the difference is I put the RVG grip on it and the reason I do this is because it comes in instead of being negative 2 ergo like the Zenit you lose two points of recoil reduction in the name of 7 ergo and the next part is obviously the difference between the mags that I suggested and the mags that I use as an example here obviously on the right hand side you can see I've got the 30 round magazine for AK-12 and compatible and you're going to see that it actually comes in at negative 2 ergo whereas the P mags from before come in at negative 1.5 but the actual massive difference between these two are these two modifiers on the right hand side here the first one is the load unload speed modifier of negative 10 that means that you can unpack these mags and also pack them 10% faster. We've got another thing here as well, which is a negative 20 check speed modifier, which means if I wanted to check my magazine, I check it 20% faster. Now, I know all these builds in consist of the same exact handguard, the VLTOR CMRD, but unfortunately, this handguard doesn't allow you to put a canted sight. 
So if you want to build any of these builds and you really want a canted site, the best in slot to use is the handguard with gas block combo by Troy Industries for AK. You can buy this from Mechanic Max. You can have something like a hammer and also a canted PK-06. Hey guys, that's it for another gun build video. If there's a certain gun that you'd love to see me do, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, I stream six days a week on Twitch. The link for that will also be featured down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out heaps. And we'll see you on the next one.